Welcome to the part 3 of the Camera Tracker for After Effects to Owen training series. These are the second two part of videos. The first part will be showing the camera track and the AE base level projection technique. And the second part will be showing integration with Digit Effect Camera Mapper to make projection setup far simpler. The benefit of using projection mapping to remove the dolly track is all we have to do is to paint out one single frame and letting camera tracker and projection techniques to take care of the rest of the work. So in order to remove the, uh, in order to do the projection, first we need to track the shot and we need three basic components. Uh, the original sequence and a black and white mat and also uh, a clean plate of the original sequence. So it has a wide enough area to cover, to patch on top of this original footage later on. So first let's go to the foundry, camera tracker. <clears throat> and the matte source, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pick matte luminance and pick on the second layer, which is the matte. And let's click on track. And after we track the shot, here's what we're going to get. Basically, the features in 3D space and now we're going to click on solve camera. So after we have solved the camera, we get a maximum error of 6.901. Maybe we can refine that a little bit. So let's say 2.6. So delete and solve and delete rejected. Let's track the. Uh, let's solve for the camera again. And now we get a much better result. Okay, after refining the, uh, the track, and we're going to create the scene, <clears throat> which is going to generate a track camera, also a null object. And the first thing that we're going to do is to set the ground plane. So let's select a few features on the floor, and go to ground plane, select to select it. <clears throat> and now if we toggle uh, to a to 3D space and try to look at our point cloud in custom view. You can see the point cloud are perfectly aligned to the floor. And let's toggle back to uh, 2D. Next, we're going to create a solid on the floor. So basically, just pick a few points as what we did before. Go to create solid. Now we get a solid on the floor and we're going to scale that up a little bit so that's big enough to cover this area. And now we're going to set up our projection camera manually and project the clean plate on this area so that we can remove that later on. To set up our projection camera, basically just duplicate the track camera on parent it from the null object and re let's rename it to cam project. Also we're going to bring up our pro uh, projection plane and switch it to 3D. Let's delete off the keyframe and reset the camera. And let's go to one node camera and also let's create a spotlight copy and paste the position to the spotlight. And for the uh, material option of the projection plane, we're go gonna shut everything off and only turn on the cast shadow and turn the light transmission all the way up to 100%. Next, we're going to parent uh, the light and the projection plane to the cam project. So no matter where it goes, it follows. <clears throat> and also we're going to apply the expression um, to the scale value of the projection plate. So let's give it a variable. x equal 100%, which is the current scale value over 
the current zoom value. Multiply it by the current C value. And apply it to all three of them. So now, if I move it, whoops. So now if I move, drag along the C axis, it's actually scaling proportionally to the view of angle of this uh, cam project. Now we have set up our projection camera. Next, we're, go uh, we're going to line up our projection camera to the track camera. So first, I'm going to parent uh, the cam project to the null object. And next, I'm going to copy and paste the very last frame of the track camera to the cam project. You can see our projection plane is actually intersecting with the red solid that we created earlier. And that's why we need to create, uh, we need to create the expression for our projection plane earlier. So basically just drag it along the C axis. So move it close and love to the camera. And it doesn't intersect as long as it doesn't intersect with the solid anymore, it's good. <coughs> so basically just select the red solid, go to layer, solid setting, and turn it back to white. In the material option, shut everything off, but accept shadow and also turn the opacity back all the way up to 100%. And don't forget to bring the active camera is always the top camera in your comm. So just bring the cam tracker camera above the cam project. Now we're actually seeing a problem here. That's because we only want to see the shadow of our projection plane. So now we're going to uh, switch it to only. And let's toggle it back to 2D mode. From this uh, active camera mode, we're just going to quickly do a roto on top of this area. Feather the edge just a little bit, maybe 20 pixels. And also give it a little bit of color correction. Much better. And also desaturate it a little bit. <coughs> So much better now. <clears throat> and if you go to composi uh, composition setting and put a check mark on perceived resolution when nested, it's going to actually give you a better resolution for the shadow. Uh, right now, at the comp size, it's actually pretty good for now. So I'm just going to leave it as comp size. That's how you track the shot create the solid, set up your projection camera, and project the clean plate onto the floor to remove the original rig. That's it for our third part of the training.